Leopoldo Lugones Arguello, the 13th of June 1874 to the 18th of February 1938, was an Argentine poet, essayist, novelist, playwright, historian, professor, translator, biographer, philologist, theologian, diplomat, politician, and journalist. His poetic writings are often considered to be the founding works of Spanish language modern poetry, not, however, modernismo. His short stories made him a crucial precursor and also a pioneer of both the fantastic and science fiction literature in Argentina. Early life Born in Villa de María del Río Seco, a city in Córdoba province, in Argentina's Catholic heartland, Lugones belonged to a family of landed gentry. He was the first-born son of Santiago M. Lugones and Custodia Arguello. His father, son of Pedro Nolasco Lugones, was returning from the city of Buenos Aires to Santiago del Estero when he met Custodia Arguello while stopping in Villa de Maria, a locality that was at that time disputed territory between the provinces of Santiago del Estero and Córdoba. It was his mother who gave young Leopoldo his first lessons and was responsible for his strict Catholic upbringing. When Lugones was six years old and following the birth of a second child, the family moved to the city of Santiago del Estero and later to Ojo de Agua, a small town situated in the south of the province of Santiago del Estero close to the border with Córdoba, where the poet's two younger brothers were born, Ramón Miguel Lugones Santiago del Estero, and the youngest of the four children, Carlos Florencio Lugones Ojo de Agua. Later his parents sent him to study at the Colegio Nacional de Montserrat, in Córdoba, where his maternal grandmother lived. In 1892 the family would move to that city, at the time when Lugones was beginning his forays into the fields of journalism and literature. He first worked for La Montaña, a newspaper, and was in favor with the aristocratic Manuel Quintana, a candidate to become a president of Argentina. This brought him first to Buenos Aires in 1896, where his literary talent developed quickly. That year, he married Juana Agudelo, from whom he had a son, Leopoldo Polo Lugones, who would become the notorious chief of the federal police during the dictatorship of José Félix Uriburu. In 1899, he became an active Freemason. Career Lugones was the leading Argentine exponent of the Latin American literary current known as Modernismo. This was a form of Parnassianism influenced by symbolism. He was also the author of the incredibly dense and rich historical novel La Guerra Gaucha He was an impassioned journalist, polemicist and public speaker who at first was a socialist, later a conservative, traditionalist and finally a supporter of fascism and as such an inspiration for a group of rightist intellectuals such as Juan Carulla and Rodolfo Arazusta. Leopoldo Lugones went to Europe in 1906, 1911, 1913 and in 1930, in which latter year he supported the coup d'état against the aging radical party president, Ippolito Irigoyen. On February 18, 1938, the despairing and disillusioned Lugones committed suicide by taking a mixture of whiskey and cyanide while staying at the river resort of El Tigre in Buenos Aires. Political frustration has been the most widely cited cause of his suicide. Nevertheless, recent publications in Argentina have shed light on another possible motivation. Lugones was very enamored of a girl he met at one of his lectures in the university. He maintained a passionate and emotional relationship with her until, discovered and pressured by his son, he was forced to leave her, causing in him a depressive decline that would end his life. His descendants have had similarly tragic fates. It is believed that his son Polo, the chief of police during Uriburu's dictatorship, was the creator of the Picana and the one who introduced it as a method of torture. Polo Lugones committed suicide in 1971. Polo's younger daughter, Susanna Piri Lugones, was detained and disappeared in December 1978 as a victim of the Dirty War. His older daughter, Carmen, whom he called Babu, is still alive. One of Piri's sons, Alejandro, committed suicide, like his great-grandfather, in Tigre. This comprises Lugones's tragic familial fate, curiously similar to that of Horacio Quiroga's, himself a friend and admirer of Leopoldo Lugones. Poetry 
Las Montañas del Oro, the Mountains of Gold, 1897. Las Crepúsculos del Jardín, The Twilight of the Garden, 1905. Lunario Sentimental, Lunario Sentimental, 1909. Odes Seculares, Secular Odes, 1910. El Libro Fiel, The Faithful Book, 1912. El Libro de los Paisajes, The Book of Landscapes, 1917. Las Horas Doradas, The Golden Hours, 1922. Romances del Río Seco, Romances Seco River, posthumously, 1939. Topic: Short stories. Las Fuerzas Extrañas, 1906. Cuentos Fatales, 1926. Ezer, 1906. La Guerra Guacha La Guerra Guacha the War is a 1942 Argentine historical drama and epic film directed by Lucas de Mayer and starring Enrique Muño, Francisco Petroni, Ángel Magaña, and Emilia Benz. The film's script, written by Homero Manzi and Ulysses Petit de Marat, is based on the novel by Leopoldo Lugones published in 1905. The film premiered in Buenos Aires on November 20, 1942 and is considered by critics of Argentine cinema as one of the most successful films in the history of the cinema. See also List of Argentines <laughs>